This is Luna. She's a troublemaker. She likes to chew on paper. And we tell her not to, but she does it anyways. Is that right? Yeah. She's just destruction incarnate. Oh gosh. What? Everything is awesome. Because it's daytime to book recommendations. It doesn't really go with the song at all. But I'm gonna try and sing it anyways. Now be gone. Hey, how are y'all doing? We're finally in the double digits. It's day 10. Yes, I can do both hands now of my 12 days of book recommendations. Stop it, Luna. Stop it. Don't eat my lens cap. Today we're going to talk about a very exciting book series that I'm sure all of you have heard about. And it is definitely considered a children's series. And shh, I'm talking. No, she doesn't get it. What do you want from me? What do you want? So the children's series I want to talk about today is, of course, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And this is a very epic book series. And there are seven books in total in the series. But I want to talk about today the second book, which is weird to talk about a second book in a series, but it's certainly the one that people start with. I don't know why. You know how sometimes series there's a different order of reading it? The Chronicles of Narnia isn't usually read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's usually read in a different order. I'm not really sure which order people prefer, but they generally start with book two, which is The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I didn't actually start off reading the book when I was introduced to the story. First, I watched the old BBC version of it, which is so hokey and so ridiculous and I love it so much because of its just awfulness. And so I saw that movie version when I was about 10 because my mother made me watch it since we were going to go to England and that's the first and only time I visited England and we went to go see a show at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre well, a musical, and it just so happened to be The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So my mom wanted me to be a little bit familiar with the story so I wouldn't be lost when I saw the actual musical version. And I just have loved the story and everything about it ever since that day. The Chronicles of Narnia is perfect for wintertime because, of course, Narnia, when Lucy discovers it going through the wardrobe, is always in a state of winter and well, there's never Christmas, sadly, but it is under the enchanted spell of the White Witch. And so four children from war-torn England have to figure out how to conquer the White Witch and find Aslan to bring him back and to set all to right once again in the land of Narnia, which is a magical land that one can find through various different ways and methods and in this book it just so happens to be going through a wardrobe naturally but the rest of the books are just as brilliant so i definitely recommend reading the whole series at least once and i don't actually have a copy of this or any of the books which is sad and that will be my quest when i go to use book sales from now on to find my own copy of the books because they're just too good not to own you know it's one of those kind of books and yeah that's my book recommendation for Day 10, The Chronicles of Narnia, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, respectively. I hope you liked today's recommendation. I will be coming back with another one tomorrow, and then it'll be Christmas.